now let us learn about effects of water pollution so whatever amount of pollution is adding into the water what are the effects of that so the first type of effect of water pollutants which are adding into water is oxygen demanding waste so what does oxygen demanding waste do in the water so organic matter which reaches the water body is decomposed by microorganism present in the water for this oxygen dissolved in water is used so whenever any organic matter enters the water body the decomposition is done by the bacteria what will bacteria utilize bacteria will utilize oxygen present in the water so organic matter plus dissolved oxygen plus bacteria will give carbon dioxide and water what is organic matter doing or organic matter is utilize oxygen present in the water body and bacteria are utilizing oxygen to decompose the organic matter biochemical oxygen demand what is bod bod is used as a measure to find out the amount of biodegradable matter in the water it is defined as amount of oxygen required by bacteria to decompose the biodegradable organic matter under aerobic condition the saturated value of dissolved oxygen in water is in the order of 8 to 10 mg per liter so any water body which is there it should have 8 to 10 mg per liter now what is happening here whenever any oxygen demanding waste enters the water it will demand oxygen so what will happen when organic matter enters the water it will demand oxygen to decompose who will decompose the organic matter the bacteria will decompose the organic matter by utilizing oxygen present in the water the standard concentration of oxygen in water is 8 to 10 mg per liter so that is the standard concentration of water now when they are utilizing this oxygen the oxygen level decreases to how much 5 to 8 mg per liter so that is also fine if the concentration of oxygen decreases to 5 to 8 mg per liter but due to more degradation of waste dissolved oxygen level gets reduced more if the dissolved oxygen drops below 4 mg per liter fish and other aquatic life is threatened and in extreme cases they are killed also so the other effect of dissolved oxygen is undesirable taste odor and color prohibiting its use for domestic and recreational purpose now what are the other effects of other water pollutants so what is the effect of nitrogen and phosphate compounds additional of compounds containing nitrogen and phosphorus help in growth of algae and other plants these compounds are nutrients for the growth when this concentration are high it causes rapid growth causing algae bloom also growth of weed increases so nitrogen and phosphorus compounds act as nutrients for the elements present in the water so they act as a nutrients for algae and algae is unwanted plant which is not required in the water body so as nitrogen and phosphorus are present in excessive amount in water they will result into increase of algae in the water so as algae increases in the water it covers up the water surface and prevents the entry of sunlight into the water bodies so whenever there is increase of algae it prevents the entry of sunlight in the water body aquatic plants along with algae thus die the bacteria present in water now decomposes all these dead plants the decay organic matter adds unwanted color odor and taste to the water it also reduces dissolved oxygen of water and leads to the death of fish and other aquatic plants and animals so what is happening now is when there is excessive amount of nitrogen and phosphorus present in the water that results into increase of algae as the algae increases it covers up the water surface area as it covers up the water surface area it blocks the sunlight to reach the aquatic plants as the aquatic plants will not get sunlight they will not be able to do proper photosynthesis process as the photosynthesis process is not happening properly the plants will die whenever any microorganism or living organism dies in the water bacteria come for decomposition the decomposition is done by dissolved oxygen so the standard concentration of oxygen in water should be 8 to 15 mg per liter but as the dissolved oxygen is utilized by the bacteria for decomposition of dead aquatic plants 
and animals the concentration of dissolved oxygen will reduce resulting into death of more aquatic plants and animals and that is how nitrogen and phosphorus compounds are harmful because they act as nutrient for the algae effects of water pollutants and effect of toxic compounds now pollutants such as heavy metals pesticides cyanides and many other organic compounds and inorganic compounds are harmful to aquatic organism some of the substance like pesticides methyl mercury moves into the body of organisms from medium in which the organisms live this substance tend to accumulate in the organism body the process is known as bioaccumulation so basically how toxic compound affects the water so whenever any toxic compounds like metals pesticides cyanides enter the water body it gets accumulated in the living organism present in the water body so that is known as bioaccumulation where the living organism adapts or accumulates the toxic compound present in the water body now whenever any toxic compound enters the living organism and it is passed from one living organism to another living organism at that time the concentration of toxic compound increases because in the food chain small organism is eaten by the large organism during that process when toxic compound is moved from small organism to large organism the concentration of toxicity increases from small organism to large organism so that is known as biomagnification when the concentration of toxic compound is increased when they are passed in the food chain the concentration of toxic substance build up at successive level of food chain this process is called as biomagnification so whenever any toxic compound enters a living organism that is known as bioaccumulation and when the concentration is increasing as they are passed from one living organism to another living organism that is known as biomagnification in the chain you can see from phytoplankton to zooplankton to small fish to big fish here the concentration of toxic compound is increasing so whenever any toxic compound is entered into any living organism as they are passed from one organism to another organism the concentration of toxicity is increased that is known as biomagnification so toxic compound are harmful in this way example of biomagnification at in water the concentration of toxic compound is 0.00001 ppm then as water is accumulated in zooplankton so the concentration becomes 0.01 ppm from zooplankton it goes to minnows then the concentration is 0.1 from 0.1 zooplankton it goes into the needle fish needle fish eats minnows then the concentration becomes 1 bird is eating the needle fish the concentration is becoming 10 so at each successive level of food chain the concentration of toxic compound is increasing that is known as biomagnification mercury dumped in water is converted to methyl mercury by bacterial action so whenever any toxic metal which enters the water body that is also harmful to the water a disease called minamata disease occurs due to consumption of methyl mercury contaminates the fish if the concentration of nitrate becomes more than 45 mg per liter then blue baby disease is caused in infants excessive fluoride causes fluorosis it affects the bone and teeth of the person effects of water pollutants of suspended matter whenever any suspended matter enters the water it is aesthetically displeasing biodegradable suspended matter causes dissolved oxygen depletion it reduces the light penetration thereby reducing photosynthesis and a corresponding loss in food production provides absorption sites for harmful chemicals or biological organisms which can affect flora and fauna of the stream provides absorption sites for harmful chemicals or biological organism which can affect flora and fauna of stream so suspended matter basically blocks the light penetration and thereby affecting the water and it is also displeasing to look at impurities in the water so this is the effect of suspended matter in the water thermal discharge now water is used for dissipation of waste heat in power plant and industry the heated water is subsequently discharged into water bodies increase the temperature of water has following effects increase biological activities causes death of some heat sensitive organism 
dissolved oxygen concentration decreases together with increased biological activities at high temperature may result into anaerobic condition resulting in bad order growth of algae increases toxicity of chemical pollutants increase with increase in temperature so as the temperature increases toxicity in the water increases the concentration of dissolved oxygen will also decrease because the microorganism present in the water will die and thereby decomposition process will require oxygen and that oxygen will be utilized from the water which is dissolved oxygen and the concentration of dissolved oxygen will decrease because of that so there are different effects of thermal discharge in water thank you for watching this video